Hi everyone, it is I, Heather, and Tom. Howdy. <laughs> he's, he's running the computer controls for us. Hope you all are having a wonderful day. Welcome. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, today we are going to learn how to color a baby Yeti. And I also have a surprise which I'll show you in just a moment. Um, <laughs> I'll get to my surprise. Anyway, as uh, for those of you who joined me on my last episode of my Lady Heather Oween um, 2020 celebration, you all knew about a bundle that showed up on our doorstep. Well, I like to show you the bundle. I'm gonna turn the little guy around. This is the little baby Yeti that joined us. And he is the one that we're going to be coloring. Or she. That's a he. This is Candy Cane Yeti, by the way. So he's all nice and snug in his little blanket. Give you a close-up of that. He's all nice and snug. And I'm going to go ahead and put him back in his little apple crate. Like I said, for those of you who joined me back then, uh... Like I said, our last episode, you would have learned about the Baby Yeti. And thank you uh, for uh, my computer guy for the music. <laughs> hey. um, anyway, we're going to be doing something a little different today. Um, I'm going to be coloring on my Wacom uh, Cintiq 16-inch uh, tablet. Now, this is digital coloring, but don't go say, I'm going to tune out not needed, okay, because even though I'm coloring digitally, you can still apply pretty much the same steps, the coloring, how I'm shading in with your colored pencils and markers. Except for those of you who won't be coloring digitally with me, you'll be going ahead and doing it uh, on your paper. Now, to find the image, those of you who are on my Patreon uh, groups, Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3, you can go ahead and download the image for free. It's been up there for a couple weeks. And I do apologize, by the way, for not being here last weekend. Um, we had a power issue and so electrical stuff. So we had to get that taken care of. We're up and running now. And we do have something special. You're going to be able to see me draw today um, with my tablet. Okay, you're not going to be able to see my hands drawing you'll see what i'm doing on the tablet in addition to watching me so it's going to be like a picture in picture thing so uh, it'll be fun you get to see all my facial expressions while i'm drawing and if i make oopsies and everything which you normally don't see you'll be able to see firsthand um let's see i'm trying to think what else i'm missing here is there anything else i'm moving the combo view so they can see what you're gonna look yeah, like yeah yeah sure okay i have my holiday water drink here my lighted light bulb. Are we are we in PIP now? Yeah. We are. Is everyone hearing everything okay and seeing? Now I can't get my little lighted thing off. Whoop. Uh, let's do a shout out, Heather. Uh, we've got uh, Carl, Davisa. Hey, Carl. Masiki. Hi, Davisa. Isn't Carl always with Judith? I think so. Hi, Judith. We've got Masiki and Marianne. Hi, Masiki, Marianne. Vanessa and Laura McDougall. Hi, Vanessa and Laura. Thank you for joining. Um, anyway, so this is going to be fun for all of us now. <laughs> um, let's see. Digital coloring. You could color on your tablet, uh, like on an Apple iPad. Uh, if you're coloring that way, uh, you would be using something like Procreate. It's an app that costs like six bucks. Uh, I think it's on Procreate 5 is mm -hmm. the number now. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be coloring through uh, Photoshop, 
like I said, it doesn't matter if you're, well, it kind of does, but you can still use the same color, same techniques, apply it to your colored pencil. So like I said, do not shy away from watching this. What we're going to do is, uh, it's kind of like a digital uh, manipulation. Um, there's also another word, and I, it's kind of eluding me, matte. Uh, matte painting. There we go. Um, basically, I've taken a photo, a picture of the baby Yeti, the cute little baby Yeti. Um, how are y'all liking the baby Yeti anyway? Isn't he adorable? Let me get his little antler. Aww. Well, Vanessa says, hi, you look so pretty. No, oh, thank you. Anyway, there he is. I'm going to put him back down into his little crate. I took a photo of him on my desk. Um, wrapped up in his blanket and he was at this time not showing any candy canes which seems to be or any kind of sweets laying around he kind of goes and gravitates to anyway so I've already added him in as uh, not a base layer my base layer would be my background color which is white in this case I added the photo in on top of it and what you see is I've erased the baby Yeti okay because I'm going to draw him and put him into the photo, okay, as you've seen. Uh, for those of you in my Facebook group, and I, I, and I know in the, in the intro here, this is, this is the baby Yeti, okay? So everything except the Yeti, okay, is a photo. There was no, I mean, it's an actual photo on my, from my desk, okay? The candy cane and baby Yeti is what we're going to be drawing in. And let me go ahead and make sure here that I have my pencil. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to go ahead and scribble here for a minute. This tool is locked. Good. We're going to go up to another base layer here. And as you can see, like I said, this is regular Photoshop. Uh, for those of you who want to go ahead and follow along with it. Um, you cannot, well, no, I take that back. You can use Photoshop on your Procreate, or pardon me, on your iPad, okay? Or, or any laptop. Or any laptop, right, but you won't have an Apple Pencil. Okay. If you have an Apple Pencil, then you would be doing it on, on the iPad. I think there's another, isn't it tablet Google or something? Well, there are a bunch of There's a bunch that has tablets. the pencils, okay? So you need to see what's adaptable. Um, you can download the Adobe Photoshop for free. And like I said, for those of you who have an Apple iPad, uh, the Procreate, top of the line, you only pay a fee of, I think it's like $5.99 or $6.99, one-time fee. It, it is mwah, beautiful for that. Um, the Photoshop is... Um, hold on a second. Um, I need to talk to computer. Uh, do not move the mouse. <laughs> Kate, you're controlling. You're moving my pencil around here. So there we go. As you can see, I just went ahead and drew that. I'm seeing my mouse, the brush going like this all over. So, okay. So now I erase that. So if you look over to the bottom right and you can see, I'm going to go ahead and and show you my base layer. So background is white. Then I went ahead and I added the photo and then I have my base white. I locked my base white because I, I don't want to, you know, when I colored in my, my shape of my Yeti, it's down there solid now. It's not going to change unless I unlock that. Whenever you color, you want to go ahead and build up each layer, okay? So what I want to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and draw in basically the the eyeballs and everything in here so let me change to my pencil here and i'm going to go really light yeah can you zoom out the camera a little bit because you're cutting yourself off you look like kilroy i look like who kilroy with the nose and the fingers hanging over you there you go better mm, i have no idea what you're talking about but okay more better there we go all right so let me get a brush here your brushes can be fined over here. I'm going to go for a hard round right now and about a seven point. Normally when I do any of my sketches on here, I am doing a seven uh, point. I call it a point. It's a pixel. That's an eight. Okay. And just so you know, everybody thinks he's really cute and cuddly looking. Aww. Hi, Judith. Hi, Judith. Hi, did I say hi, Judith? I think you did. Cuter than Rody? Okay, I'm trying to adjust this. This little thing is not setting. As you can see, I'm trying to get it to stay in number seven here. 
the brushes on 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 the Procreate. Okay, so I have my or pardon me on my Procreate. I'm stuck on Apple stuff on my Wacom. This is my uh, pencil that I'll be drawing with. The brushes don't change. It's just a nib on here, a little kind of like rubbery nib. Um, the brushes I digitally change and I have a bunch of brushes. You can download a bunch of brushes for free also on here. But a brush then digitally is just like how you would, you know, if you were acrylic painting, okay, you would change your brush, uh, your virtual brush to fit acrylic painting or oil painting. Or if you're sketching, if you're sketching in real life, you'd use a pencil or a pen, you know, or you could sketch with a brush too, but you kind of get what I'm saying here. So I already have him at 55%. That's a really good uh, uh, frame for me, okay? Um, and also, I did include this, I do believe. Did I include the photo? I think you did. I'm not sure if I included the photo for you to, um, in Patreon, for my Patreon members to download it. I think I did. If not, I will double check after this and get it uploaded so you can color him in the little blanket too. I think I did though. Um, no, I know what I did. Grayscaled. Mm -hmm. I did a grayscale for you, but I'll go ahead and do this, but see, he's not going to be drawn in. So it, Tomorrow I'll have it posted for my Patreon members. There we go. So over in the upper right is where I can control the, um, whatchamacallit, the different colors. And I'm going to tilt my camera down just a little bit. There we go, because as I move forward. I have it kind of on light. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and draw in. I'm going to flip to my brush here. I'm going to go ahead and my brush. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Please, he's have, playing with the computer. I yes. have things I have to do technically that I can't do when you're drawing. Okay, so you, okay. So you have to let me know when you're going to do that because <laughs> it's locking me out. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm I'm locked out again. Okay, can, so can you zoom, in just a zoom in what? I yes. can't because when I'm well, I'm going to be down here. Our backdrop is kind of misaligned. Okay. Better. Okay. Anyway, so let me go ahead and go to the brush. Okay, now I have my little brush, as you can see. No, nope, it's not doing that. There we go. Okay, and I'm just kind of going to go ahead and draw in. And for those of you who think that I'm, you know, so you know I'm not copying, I am looking at my own reference on my sketch. <laughs> and, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to sketch in this little baby Yeti and this candy cane. How many of you guys would want a baby Yeti in your house, I should say? He's so cute. Just keep the sweets away from him. That's all I can say. We're experimenting, too, on, on this picture-in-picture picture and with the Wacom tablet. This is the first time we've done this like this. So we're going to have uh, the mouse going at it when he's doing his thing and, and this. So it's going to be really fun. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Okay, I am getting a little, for the computer sport, a little drag time. Uh, with the computer going through uh, our broadcasting system. So what you see me sketching, if you don't see a line appear right away, um, it has no reflection due whatsoever on uh, the Wacom uh, tablet because the pressure and the speed, I mean, it's just like drawing on paper. I mean, there is no, there is no lag, and I am picking up a, a lag with this, so I do apologize. Um. Judith says she's in for Carl today. He's running errands for me for Thanksgiving. Love your outfit, Lady Heather. Oh, thank you. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and draw in the little one's nose here. And we're just kind of giving some sketches here some lines so we have it as kind of a reference okay and the cool thing about this is you can flip over i don't know if you can see that you can flip over your pen and use this actually as an eraser or you could go up to as you can see it's gone or you could go up to the top hit edit and undo and it would undo your last step so it's really cool the price point for something like this 
Um, I was so lucky because thanks to my Patreon members, I was able to to get um, the this Wacom, which helps my hands and really saves on them if I'm having a bad hand day. And um, so I thank my Patreons from the bottom of my heart for that and my fans, because without you guys, this would not have been possible. Okay, so we have that. I'm going to go ahead and lightly sketch in. Better make sure I'm doing this on the, yeah, I am doing it on the right layer. That's something you need to pay attention to. For those of you who are going to do this on Photoshop, you, <laughs> you have layers, like the background, the base, um, each layer you have. So with my sketching layer here, which I now have as base color Yeti, okay, um, I can erase, so anything that I sketch out now, all I have to do is, is delete this layer, and it'll be poof, gone. Or you can kind of work work in on it. So I'm going to go ahead and draw in my little eyeballs, or his big eyeballs, I should say. And we have more of an eye over here. Somehow I have his face a little different than what's in the picture, but hey, it's going to be close enough. <laughs> that is funny because I'm sitting here looking at the picture and going, I have a bigger eyeball than what was in the picture. Okay, and like I said, if you're, I'm going to be quiet for a minute. I want you to hear this, see if you can pick up on this. Do you hear that? Like, that's the sketching on this tablet. It's, it's, it's so cool because, I mean, I'm not, I really didn't want to do any digital stuff. Um, you know, with, with my health and hand issues and, and pain in that, this is, this is really great. And I've, I've played with my, uh, Apple and, uh, you know, the Procreate loved it. It was really great, but this makes it like I'm actually drawing on paper and, and it's, it's really addictive. Um, I, like I said, I wouldn't have you rush out and go pay, you know, six, $700 for, uh, a Wacom 16, uh, Cintiq, unless you're, you know, an artist. I mean, if you want to go ahead and dive into it, um, they do have smaller tablets. Um, the Wacom one, what is the price point? Price point on that is around $400. Is it? And it's what, a 13 or yeah, 13. Yeah, it's like 13 or 10. I don't know. It, or maybe it is a is it smaller? Yeah. Yeah, and it's there's, smaller. There's, and they have the giant one, which is a 32 inch list, or a 32 inch list, a 32 inch one, which would be, oh my, and that's like $3,000. They heard the pencil. They heard, yeah, isn't it so cool? It's like so totally cool. Um, but yes, Dear Santa, a Wacom 32 inch would be really nice. Anyway, I can dream believe in Santa anyway. Santa always comes. Yes. Anyway, I can put it out there. Let's go ahead and finish up this little guy. He's got his eyeballies in and I'm going to go ahead and his eyes aren't perfectly round. They're kind of got an oval thing to them. And this has not taken long to go ahead and get this sketched in. But we need a rough sketch, and I wanted you to, to see how this is done. Like I said, on, on Patreon, and he's going to go off the page, I want to go ahead and make sure his eyeballs match. So his eye of the blanket's going to catch there. And like here. Yeah, the 32-inch one is like has its own like computer and everything in it. Right now, you have to plug in the uh, Wacom 16 to a uh, laptop or a uh, PC, a desktop PC, and yeah. Anyway, voila, we have the little baby Yeti. Okay, so he's on, he's all in there, and we have the blanket and all that. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut down. I'm going to go to my next layer. And I'm going to go ahead and do I want, I want to go ahead and lock this in. And you go down here to the bottom right and you can lock this in. Now, here we go. This is like I said, um, 
what's really cool about digital coloring is the big pro is if you make a mistake, you can hit the back button and erase it, and you still don't have to just trash the whole entire piece. Um, like if you're coloring and you make a giant oopsie, like opening up like a Copic marker and it goes splat the ink and you sit there and you're starting to cry because you're halfway through and you're going, oh no, I just ruined it. And there it goes into the circular file. All you have to do is hit the erase button. So it still has some pros and cons. Also, you can go ahead and do, um, uh, do we have a computer? Yes. <laughs> computer. Well, I'm uh, do, up affordable pen tablets. Do I have uh do I have my mouse? Uh, I have no I don't. It. Go for it. There it goes. Okay, I do now again. He keeps playing with the mouse. I didn't touch it. <laughs> it did it on its own. Okay. So now the fun part. Let's get coloring. So I've changed to another layer. I've locked in that sketch, which we can unopen at any time or unlock at any time. I'm going to go to layer one here, and I'm going to lay down some color. If I was coloring my paper, I would go ahead and color. Uh, I'd lay a light blue down. And you can see I'm changing my color. I'm also going to change my brush. I'm going to go to a soft pressure now. There we go. And I'm going to increase the size. Come on. There we go. Oh, I can make it a little bigger. No. Well, I'm going to go ahead and lay in It's so cool. It's I I I kid you not. This is just like I'm coloring on on a on paper. I'm going to go ahead and I flip to my blue. As you can see, I'm going to go through a couple colors here. And this is just laying down a base color or a local color. Okay? And you can rename your layers on the side uh, so you know what you're, what you're doing, okay? Or what layer you're on. And trust me, it is very difficult. Sometimes you really get into this and you've forgot to change a layer. So you've piled all this stuff up on one layer. And if you make an oopsie, it's like, uh-oh. And that's when you get into some problems digitally coloring. So always pay, down, pay, pay attention to the right-hand corner when you're doing in Photoshop. If you're working on the Procreate, you can just hit the back button over on the left side, that little arrow that kind of goes kind of like a sideways U and just hit, 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 and it goes back. But you've kind of lost everything. It's a good thing, too, to save on any device. Save what you're working on uh, as you go. I'm not really too worried about that right now. But I'm just going to go ahead. And like I said, I would be doing the same exact thing right now with my colored pencils, laying in, or my markers, laying in the colors. You want to pay attention to to the highlights um, or to the light source. It's dead on. You have some light source coming from the Christmas tree lights that the little guy is is colored in on, but, uh, or is tied up on. I'm getting tongue, tie, tongue tangled right now. So let me go ahead and increase this. If you have any questions about regular coloring or anything, please do not hesitate to ask. Gonna increase the size here. And another thing here, when you change the different layers, it, it you can just go ahead and kind of fine tune it and you're not really going outside of your line. I am not worried at this time about the, um, oh, what was I gonna say? I don't know what I was gonna say because I'm sitting here coloring. <laughs> this is really so much fun. Okay. I'm go around his nose. I don't remember what I was saying before. Okay, well, uh, we have just a base coat down. I want to go ahead and I'm going to change color. So I go up to my color bar. You can also slide it here. I'm going to go for kind of a pinky color here. Too pink. 
too pink. There we go. I'm going to shrink down the size a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and start coloring in, shrink down the size of the brush. Hold on a minute. I'm going to do the brush here for a minute. It is way too big. I'll just erase it. There we go. Yes, you have a question. I have a question. Yes. So the layers are like if you laid several layers of clear plastic over top of this and colored on each layer individually. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Good question, Computer Tom. <laughs> or was that a fan? <laughs> no, that was me. All this technology can get to be a little much when you're hearing it, but when you're doing it, it's easier. Now, you can see, just like I would be doing on paper, I'm laying in, like I said, my local color, and I'm leaving that shadowed or that highlighted area on the candy cane where that's where it's going to be uh, spotlight or uh, highlighted. I'm leaving that white. I'm going to go ahead and come in here, and on the bottom layer, or the white layer, I should say, of my candy cane, I'm just laying down. I'm not paying attention to, to the... Uh, shadows right now or you know just it's just a rough layer of color here okay and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a little bit here on his nose and what did I do I'm trying to get as close as possible for what we had I'm going to switch here to the gray so how is everyone doing? I know everyone is probably on back on lockdown again in a lot of countries. Well, Mary Ann says, I asked how we're getting ready for Thanksgiving, and she said, well, we won't have it here, but we're getting ready to start the Christmas celebrations. Oh, yeah. And then she asks Rody doing for Thanksgiving, Judith. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Okay, so... As you can see, I pretty much have a lot of the color laid in. I'm going to go ahead and move on to another color, or another layer. I'm going to go ahead and get my black. You can see I went ahead and I, I changed that. I'm going to change my brush a little bit, and I'm going to go back down probably to a 7. 7, 8 is fine. Now I'm going to start drawing in this little guy's eyes. Now, of course, for those of you who are coloring this, I would already have the eyes and stuff already drawn in for you, so you wouldn't be sitting here drawing this. For those of you who want to practice drawing my Yeti, okay, let me talk about that for a second. How can I say this? I have no problem in having you practice for your own personal use of drawing the Baby Yeti, okay? My Baby Yeti, okay? For you to put it up on Facebook, as long as you give me credit and show the reference of mine to me, okay? And you said, that's fine. You know, you, you, you wanted to draw the Baby Yeti, tag me with it but you cannot sell or distribute or redistribute that baby yeti you drew it would be in a violation of my copyrights but like i said i have no problem for you on your personal use to draw the baby yeti you know if i if i show you like this and, and there may be some of you who want to learn how to draw um the, the baby yeti that's fine tag me I want to see. I want to see your progress. And I don't know how many of you would really like drawing classes because I have no problem in teaching you that. But remember, do not sell your drawings of my baby Yeti. Okay. So I just wanted to clarify that. And I don't have a problem with you posting it. You're not going to be in violation of my copyright or anything like that doing that. But just don't sell it. <laughs> May I add something, Lady Heather? Yes. If they share your picture for reference, make sure that it's watermarked. Yes. So people can't lift it off social media without purchasing it. Correct. 
Yes, no sharing the, the line art, no sharing the grayscale, no sharing this this face. No, 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 no. That's that's a beautiful yeah. point. <laughs> yeah, because it, it, it happens. It even happens to you guys out there who are coloring. Uh, if you don't put watermark on your coloring, okay, there's a couple companies who I'm not going to get into. Uh, big companies that uh, are like overseas who do puzzles and diamond paintings and all that. Um, and they take your guys' coloring. So make sure you do put um, the watermarks and stuff on there. Or so, you can lay the pencil across the picture. Right. Now, um, Mary Ann says we have our big celebration where, where you and the UK are first celebrating on Christmas morning, then we're doing it right before. And Davissa would love to see your drawing tutorials. Awesome. And Judith says that Rody's giving them trouble jumping on her bird feeders and dumping seeds on the ground. <laughs> I'm trying to draw a straight line. <laughs> I'm so sorry that's happening. See, he's not happy just terrifying Carl. He has to terrorize Judith, too. <laughs> okay. Do not draw and laugh at the same time. So Carl is off doing Thanksgiving shopping on the weekend before Thanksgiving. Guess so. We got our bird. <laughs> that was that was a Friday night uh, run, uh, a turkey shortage, and you go quick. We had no problem getting our turkey. Our turkey. coming to life yes Judith would love drawing tutorials also excellent then I will make it so perhaps we could get one more camera and we could put one on your pencil pad and one on your pretty face oh all in good time little one all in good time. No, that's what is... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that from the Wizard of Oz? All in good time, no. I'll get you, my pretty. No, all in good time. That is from the Wizard of Oz. I think so. Yes. Anyway, so right now... Oop. This is really... I. For those of you who have a chance, even if you go in like to Target... Or like Walmart where they have the Apple yeah, products and stuff and, and you can play with the new iPad. Um, go ahead and hit Procreate and just try it. Okay, even though this is Photoshop, oh, it's so much fun. Um, do I like it better than coloring? Oh, um, uh, with the actual stuff. <sighs> Ooh, that's... I'll get back with you on that. Um, no. Um, reason being is because I like to get my hands on the paint. I like to feel the stuff. However, there are lots of pros to this. So I could see the more and more. I mean, I, I've been using this, not the tablet, but or not the Wacom. I have hair in my mouth. There we go. Um, on the Apple, uh, on the Procreate, I've been playing with that. I would say still on the Wacom, it could be a 50-50. It cuts down a lot of the coloring time and a lot of that. So I, I could see um, that would be one of the big advantages. Definitely have some lag time here, as you can see. I'm going back over here, but that's no no fault of, of Wacom. Did you touch the mouse? Not at all. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> the Did you touch the Bowden. mouse? <laughs> the mouse is forbidden. It's forbidden. No, forbidden. Forbidden. Don't don't. I know this. Forbidden. Forbidden. Oh, don't say it. Do not say it. Forbidden. I hear the actor is for, it's not clock with the house and the clock in the walls. 
No, I have a, I have a, uh, 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 oh, uh, I got it. Vampire, um, uh, uh, Cirque de... Oh, Cirque de Free. Yeah, yes, yeah, I have a Forboden, Selma Hayek, got it. Okay, now I'm happy. What I was going to add before you went on the... Uh... <laughs> I had it, I knew this voice sitting back here. Okay, <laughs> we, we, we all know that a good set of colored pencils costs a fortune. Yes. A Wacom well, Intuos, which is a portable drawing tablet, is only $80 on Amazon. Wow. Well, don't say that, though, because, I, okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because you can get the Black Widow pencils, okay, and they're premium grade stuff, and they're not that expensive. And compared to, like, Coran Dash is for $100. A set of Prismas, which is 150 Yeah. So, Yeah. So what is what is the one now? It's the Wacom Intuos, which is about the size of an iPad. About half the size of what you're working. With. Okay. So I'm gonna get his little eyelash in here. I knew I couldn't you hear her the, the little mm -hmm. voice going, I have a forbidden, and it's John C. Riley plays the vampire. How many of you have seen that movie? If not, you have to see it. It's really, really cute. I have a forbidden. That's funny. Uh-oh, Lady Heather. It's not time for Lady Heather to come back. Judith says, some people are hoarding items again. Not necessary down here, but they're doing it anyway, and I needed just a couple of items for our dinner. And Davissa says they're doing it down where she lives, too. Why does everyone need... Okay, don't, don't ask that. But come on. We do not need to be hoarding toilet paper. I think the first run... If y'all went through 48 pallets of toilet paper, the people who have hoarded this stuff in, what, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, six months, you got problems. <laughs> you got major problems. No, what they're probably doing is hoarding it and then selling it on eBay. And, and it's just like, get real. Judith says they're old-fashioned. They only buy what they need to leave stuff for other people. That yeah. like us. It's, it's, it's ridiculous not to. Hey, first store I went to, couldn't find any toilet paper. Got a box of Kleenexes, a jumbo <laughs> pack of Kleenexes, just in case. Well, you know. No, it's, it's crazy stupid. On Granddad's farm, they use the Sears catalog. Okay, my hand is, is, I do not have it set today on the pressure sensitivity. So there's a little shake in my hand here, but that's okay. Yep. That's Lily snoring, not, not. Not Belly? Not Bella the Yeti. Bella the Yeti. And for those of you, little Leo is, is he's 19 and a half. He's, he's not doing too good again. He goes through this spells, but he's not coming out of the spells, so. That's Lilybug? That's Lilybug. That was by my foot. And drawn in the little baby Yeti nostrils. How many of you answered my question? How many of you want to own a baby Yeti? Did anybody answer? No, ma'am. Nobody wants a cute, cuddly Yeti? I should have moved my pencil brush. This is what happens when I get talking. I should have increased the, the size of this. I'm just going to go ahead and color all that black. I put a highlight in there. Judith is sorry to hear about Leo. Yeah, he's... That is too funny, Lily. Okay, so now I want to go ahead and... Now, Davissa said she would like to own one as long as it's as cute as yours. Hmm... There are two. There, we have two. Where's the other one? Okay. 
Hold on a minute. We have... <gasps> Did you just dump the baby Yeti? No. Aw. Okay. So this is the baby Yeti. <laughs> this one's out of his blanket. Yes, we had... We there. There's twins. There was another one in the in the in the blanket, the bundle. I think they're multiplying. Could be like gremlins. They multiply after midnight. Oh. No. Here we go. We need some Christmas music or our, our Yeti music. Is that it? Yep. There he is. Look it. Anyway, okay, here's baby Yeti back. No, you can leave that on and just tone it down a little bit. There you go. There you go. There he is. Okay, he's going back in his own crate. Anyway, so let's go ahead, and now we have the eyes pretty much in. So now let me go ahead and cover them or color the mouth. How many of you like the PIP so you can see how nutty I am and how excited I get? That's funny. Anyway, I'm still using a 0.8 brush just because I'm fine-tuning it. I could have gone a little bit bigger here, but I want to get this black in. Renee, Renee is here. Hi, Renee! And like I said, just because I'm coloring digitally doesn't mean you can't do the same thing, pretty much the same thing with your What's pencils. Yeah, it does. Okay, so now we have this in. I'm going to go ahead and flip up now to another layer. Okay, so I'm going to go down to the right, change it over here. Now it gets really fun, as if it isn't fun already. I'm going to go ahead and change. Hold on, I need to get my, my holiday water drink. Are these the cutest little things? And they light up. My water. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and flip. I want a little purpley in here. I don't know. My hair, I, I keep having hair wispies kind of flying all around. So, don't mind me. I'm going to increase the opacity and I'm going to go down here. If you look on the screen to the soft, the round pressure, because it's going to have like a haze to it. So it's it's not going to be as hard and, and, and crisp as what you've seen in the first white base layer. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up a little bit. Did you get Yeti fur on you? It's probably what it is. <laughs> no, it's my hair. Yeah, but Yeti fur does kind of fly around here right now. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to lay in the shadows. I'm going to lay in here in between his eyes. I just love, I love that sound. Because in your mind subconsciously, you know you're sitting here drawing on, on this, this glass tablet. It is Yeti fur. <laughs> it is Yeti fur. I just looked down and there's like white fur. <laughs> and they shed. <laughs> anyway, plus my hair, but it is, it is a yet it is a strand of, of Yeti. No, that's my hair. It keeps getting cold. <laughs> I was explaining to our viewers what PIP means with uh, picture in picture. Oh, okay. And I'm convinced that your fans need to see you create. Oh, I don't know. Depends on my day. <laughs> we, we get the house decorated, maybe we can get rid of the backdrop and let them see your home. Yeah, well, my, yeah, my studio. <laughs> okay. And I'm just, just laying in a little more color. Uneven, yes. I don't want anything fancy here right now. I'm going back up into this red. Now, watch this. This is when it gets really fun. Okay, I'm going to go just to the straight red. And I'm going to shrink down my brush a little bit, still too big. Well, 
Aurora and Mary had like it because it brings you to life. Well, thank you. Yes, yeah, so you can see how nutty I am. <laughs> I, I, I so want, that's why I'm kind of keeping quiet here so you can actually hear this. Like I said, I wouldn't, you know, have y'all rush out and buy something like this. And to this and can't hurt anything, it's awesome too. Thank you. I'm listening. I heard. Says no nuttier than the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> they, have no uh, they have no idea. Anyway, we're going to take a quick break here for one second, okay? And we'll be right back, okay? <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. A little computer problem. We had little things going on like this and I lost control of the, the Wacom, so we're all <laughs> we're all fixed there. Anyway, so as you can see, I've already laid down just two coats on the red. Now watch this. I'm gonna go down here. You're gonna think I'm crazy here. I'm going into almost it's I want to go down a little deeper on this red. Now watch. Okay, I'm in my wrong brush. Hold on a minute. I gotta flip out to the opacity here. Oh, let's see. I'm gonna switch brushes here for a minute. What I need is my pastel brush. I think this is it. Hold on a minute. I can't see. Ha ha ha. Okay. Okay. And that's too big. This is the thing when I, I don't know all these brushes, just like I can quote off, you know, Black Widow pencils and all that kind of stuff. The colors here, it takes me a minute on all the brushes because I literally have thousands of brushes on here. So it takes me a bit to know what what brush I'm I'm going for here. But I like drawing with the pastel on this. It gives me a soft. I'm not drawing again. Here we go. Let's try it again. Nope, I lost my brush again. Okay, I'm trying to see here. Going up a little bit. No, I have no, there it goes. Like I said, we're having a lag. I'm going to switch brushes here. Okay. Going to my sample brush. That is not it either. Okay. I 
Aha. Uh -huh. You know what it is, the pastel number C. Oh. One of my favorite brushes to use. Okay, now this is really a dark red and it almost looks like it's it's almost looking like it's a brown when I'm coloring on here. Gonna have to adjust the settings here, uh, Mr. Computer Guy. Next time we do this, if mm -hmm. um, on the thing, it could be our internet. But oh. I, I, I'm telling you, there is no lag on the Wacom tablet when you're doing it. Yeah, you know, we're, we're trying to broadcast. Yeah, and so it's gonna Wacom on the same machine. Yeah, so there's got to be a setting on on here for for delay. But do not think that the the uh, delay. I mean, it's spot on. It, it is just like drawing paper. I mean, you know, drawing on paper or coloring and so forth. I'm going to come up here back up to my really, really red. And now I'm going over that again. Now see how that's blending out? Look at the shine that we have created on this. Renee says, wasn't sure if that was our dog snoring or hers. Nope. It's Lily. It's mine. Ours. <laughs> and I'm back to the darker. You can also save them in favorites um, on here. You just go ahead and, 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 you know, on the swatches and stuff, it allows you to pick if those are your favorite colors and all that. I really don't like doing that. <laughs> and, and to be perfectly honest, I forget about that. Because I rather, if I'm going to color digitally, I want to do it as close as possible. So if I'm, I have my paint palette here, and I'm just going to sit here and play with the colors. I'm not going to say, you know, uh, you know, being a traditional artist, when you sit here and you got your paint right here, and I've mixed my black and my red, I'm not going to sit here and I can't mark it as favorite. So I might as well just go ahead and play and experiment with the color. And that's really important to me. Um, yeah. Okay. So you have this nice thing going on here with uh, the candy cane. I'm going to come in now to my blue, and I'm going to choose kind of a, a, a blue-gray. I need that shadow. And it's got to be consistent. So when you're coloring on your paper, if you are, you'd be doing the same thing. Now there's going to be a little more shadow here because that blanket is coming down. I know that some people saw the artwork that you're recreating right now mm -hmm. and thought you had done a drawing, cropped it, and photoshopped it, and yeah. photographed it. <laughs> yes. And I had to say, explain, no, she actually drew it in Photoshop within the photo. Yep. It, it's basically like uh, digital manipulation, uh, photo manipulation, but it's actually called uh, matte painting. This is something that's been going on for, for years and years. Okay, I want to go ahead and go back up into that baby blue. I'm going to change it here. And now I'm going to go back over. Now, in something like this, you want to follow, since you have that red and white and that shadow coming up, you want to make sure your shadows and highlights match. Otherwise, it's going to really look really kind of funky. And with that being said, as you can see, I'm off a little bit. Not a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring in my white. 
la la. And now my shadow, easy peasy. And I'm bringing in my white. Look at that. So now we've done what? Five different things and we have a candy cane. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna darken it. Uh, oh, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and darken it down here in the blue. I'm going to go back into my brushes and I want to shrink this down, 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 down. Nope. Go back in, even though I like this C. Yes, I'm talking to myself. I'm gonna go with a soft pressure. Up. Ooh. Everyone's very quiet today, Lady Heather. Oh, why are y'all quiet? There's a shadow. Oh, before I forget, our next show, Lady Heather will return for this one time only for the remainder of the year. And it will be December 6th, Sunday at 3 p.m. And we will be celebrating Krampus Day. Although it is on December 5th, we'll be doing it on December 6th. Because that's St. Nicholas Day, December 6th. And we'll be celebrating Krampus Day. That's going to be good. Sunday just seems to be better for everyone all the way around. Okay, I'm going to come back in with a little gray and just kind of pan up into, look at this. I mean, I, it is so easy. Judith says it's because Carl isn't here leading the group. Oh. Okay, voila, one little candy cane done. I could come in and do a little bit here and kind of separate the colors, make them a little more, even though we see them, just, just to add to that, that shine a little bit into that candy cane. So now we have his antlers are pretty much done. Now one or two things. I could go ahead and I could lock this down but since he's on the computer paying attention to you guys and typing i'm over here with the layers i've only i've made like six different layers and i'm already on layer three i only have three other layers left so i really don't want to do that so i want to go ahead and come on in here i'm going to go back to my yeti color here and i'm going to increase the the color here and you see me once again for you I am looking at my reference to get it <laughs> as close to that as possible I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna darken up some of the shadows again I have the brush set kind of wide right now and I want it a little more purplier nope, not enough So have you chosen a medium for working on Krampus? Mm, I think I'm going to do, right now I think I'm going to do uh, Black Widow. Could use Derwent Color Soft. Might use both of them. Okay, adding a little bit in there around his eyes. Going to darken up a little bit around his ears. And start laying in some of these shadows. How are we doing on time? Oh, you're barely an hour in. Really? Wow. Okay, I'm going to go a little more pinkier here. I still can't believe that's Lily. Get his little eyebrows in. And all I'm doing right now is is adding this this 
bottom layer of, of uh, whatchamacallit, shadows down. So he looks like he's kind of airbrushed. I do like this soft round. I want to go ahead and grab in a gray here. Shrink down the brush a little bit. And I want to get this gray in around this blanket because there's going to be a shadow cast onto the baby Yeti. We'll worry about his fur here in a little bit. Get a little bit of gray on his tooth. And all we're doing is starting to refine his hair. It is kind of it is kind of wicked sitting here watching it in the in the the um, lag because I know it doesn't do this on a regular basis. I'm sitting here coloring, 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 and then all of a sudden it kind of catches up. It's kind of uh, surreal. How many of you have ever tried any digital coloring? I'll ask the questions since we're all kind of quiet today. Well, right now they're asking about Krampus, and I was explaining what he is and what he does. Oh. And I told him he is truly frightening. Yes, yes, yes. Except for those of you who want to learn about Krampus, you can go ahead and watch the movie. The uh, one that came out, what, like two or three years ago? Yeah, it's not scary. Not scary. Judith says that Carl has tried digital. Marianne has never done it. It's really fun. Okay, I'm going to put a little blue here. Now I want you to see something here. Okay. I mean, you're probably sitting there going, how can I compare the two of them? Because I'm laying down color just like I would if I was with a uh, colored pencil or marker, basically, in a nutshell. Divis has said they could have made that movie so much better. <laughs> so the hooves and everything you see in the movie and the cape is fine until they go to the head and I think it's Berta isn't it or the girl who played two and a half men uh, she's in the movie um, she recently passed rest in peace Berta um, what is her name Concietta mm -hmm. I think Concietta is her real name but anyway she she's looking at the Krampus head and this 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 big thing and it's like paper mache and the mouth is talking but the mouth isn't moving it was really just Bad. Well, Marianne thinks that she'd never be able to quote, control anything in digital. Oh, it's easy. It's just like, it's exactly like your coloring on with your colored pencils. There is, there is nothing, uh, except you have virtual brushes, so you don't have to be changing and changing your color. It's exactly like that. Um, well, when yeah. you get the brain scramblies, you're still even able to keep up. <laughs> the brain scramblies. <laughs> That's because I have MS, okay? <laughs> the brain scrambles. Okay, now here's something really cool, and I gotta find the brush. So in the original picture, well, I can work on the eyes. I wanna do the spots to the baby Yeti. So I'm gonna go ahead and find this brush, if I can find the brush. If I have the brain scrambles. <laughs> I know where you got that from, what we do in the shadows. <laughs> I'm telling you nothing. <laughs> okay, I want you to see this. Can you see the shape over here? I'm gonna I'm gonna flip to the color. I don't know if this is the right brush. That's not the right brush. I'll I'll find it. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> Special effects brushes. Maybe that's where it is. Paint spatter. Aha. Let's see. I'm sitting here playing. Did you touch the mouse? I'm not touching. <laughs> It is not doing anything. Hold on. Okay, we, we, oh, it's a smudger. 
that's why it's a smudge tool you see the little where i'm at right now you see that little thumb that's why it's smudging the area like you're blending uh when it has a brush that means it's a brush so silly me okay i'm looking for splatters that's why i'm sitting here going it's not showing up lily bug someday you're gonna have to get on here and just show them what different brushes do yes it's fun to experiment with okay no, truly, it's not. I've lost control here. Judith likes your backdrop, by the way. Oh, thank you. Okay. I have lost control of my brush. Hold on a minute. Watch the background. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Again, this is funny. I have no, I have no brush. Okay, I know why. I'll be right back. <laughs> Just hold on a minute. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. I must go down here. It's because, now if you see the bottom of the dashboard, okay, you will see something. Okay, we might lose you. Just hold on a second. I have Come to here. minimize. Come here. Don't minimize because of the flip windows. No, I have to. Hold on a minute. Hello, hold on a second because you can see my dashboard is all the way down here. So, hang on a minute. Wonders of modern technology. Anything can happen going live. La la la. <laughs> okay, hold on. And I'm flying over here. Okay, so what happens is when the mouse gets touched or anything funky like that, and there's a red spot there, um, my dock flew from the computer onto the tablet, as you saw. It does that. It is the weirdest things. When it first happened, it's like, why is my dock on the bottom? So that's really fun. Anyway, now my brushes will start working. <laughs> Maybe they will. <laughs> oh, this is funny. This this is really hilarious. Okay, let's try now. Aha! That's not the brush I want. We have brush control back. <laughs> if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. What can I say? Okay, I'm going to go down here to the spatter. That's not it. That could work. Okay. Undo brush. Ta -da! I'm going to shrink and go in here. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add his spots. Although I don't think this is what I used. But we're going to try it. Who knows. That's not it. Undo, undo. That's it. I remember my brushes. I know, I'm silly.
that's still not it. <laughs> it's closer. Maybe it's splatter three. That's not it. That could be it. That's not it. I know that's not it. We'll try spatter two. See, this is when you can experiment. That's not it. Okay, let's see. Dust and debris. I do not want rain. Yeah, I'm going to have to show you about all these brushes one time. I'll do that for my... Uh, I hope that's not it either. Um, Patreon members. I might do it on YouTube too. Right now I'm just looking for my spatter brush. That is not it. Oh, come on, baby Yeti, help me out here. Anyway, as you can see, you can make a whole bunch of different spatters. That's not it. Okay, that could very well be it. And once again, I've lost brush control. I don't get it. Nope. <laughs> Truly, I'm 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 at a loss here as to what is happening. Nope. I have no brushes. I, I truly have no brushes here. I have like no control over my tablet again. I really don't want to take another break here. This is how you paint a baby Yeti. <laughs> I'm still working on it. Don't have any idea. I have no idea what's going on. This has never done this before. Okay, we're going to take a small break. I'll be right back. Hello, I am back. Okay, so something popped up on the computer. Let me see. I do have brush control. I do believe, maybe not. <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, so that's what happens when you're broadcasting. And like I said, it's hooked up to the computer. And so when he had the screen open and something happened when we shot the dot, the dock across the bottom, that's what happened and we lost brush control so i'm basically going back down here and i'm gonna flip to light blue here that's not it again i'm gonna find our brushes again 
There we go. Nope, that's not it. I had to brush, and here we go again. This is so much fun, isn't it? This is, this is just hilarious. Be right back. Okay, I have no idea here. There we go. Now I have a brush there. Okay, sorry about this. I do apologize. It's what can happen. Okay, and yes, I do know what I'm doing, but for some reason, I don't know whether, like I said, it's because we're broadcasting off the same computer and running this. Uh, that could be uh, the issue here. Or the baby Yeti just doesn't want to get drawn or colored in. That could be it. All right, so once again, we're looking for that spatter brush, which I, I had. Oh, we're just going to use that. We're just going to give him spots. And I want to go lighter. So I'm going to change the opacity down here. I'm going to go like... <laughs> I'm going to go to a new layer. <laughs> this is the, the I, I kid you not, this is like doing everything that it's not supposed to be doing right now. This is not doing... <laughs> I'm going to be pulling out my hair here in about two minutes. <laughs> yes. yes, I am. And I'm still smiling. <laughs> okay. We're just going to go with this, okay? It's not going to be identical, but you can see I am putting in little spots, okay? he's got This guy's got a lot more freckles, okay? <laughs> We're just going to go with that. I'm going to darken up a couple of these freckles and just kind of, voila, tap it in. Yep, lost brush control again, I think. <laughs> anyway, he doesn't have as good of freckles. I know how I'm going to fix this. So this is what you don't do when you have brushes. I'm going to go in head in here on the soft opacity brush and I'm going to sit here and I'm going to zip down my brush and we're going to play hardball here. I'm just going to go ahead and go la la la. And I have no, yep, I have color, but it ain't showing up. I'm going to change the opacity back up here so I can see. Undo, undo, undo. Okay, we're going to go back up here to the opacity. I'm just going to draw in these little brushes. See? Nope, that's not what I want to do. Because now he looks like he's been hit by a... We're going to skip that part because we're, we're running up against a, a wall here with what's going on. So I'm going to have to change my line of thinking here. This is so much fun. Aren't you guys loving this today? Let's see. This is, this is just like, 
Okay. Heather has no idea what she's doing. Uh-oh. Somebody just crawled by my foot. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add a little glue in here. No, I'm not. Change the opacity again. I'm gonna go back to, nope, we're gonna change another layer here. Oh, layer five. Ho oh, hum. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and shrink down the brush. So, how are y'all enjoying the show today? <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> Yeah, it's cool. Not a problem. Marianne says, no worries. It's also a lesson itself, I think. <laughs> uh -huh. I wish I knew what lesson this was because I've never, ever had this do this. So it's got to be something with the broadcasting. Cause... a bigger computer. Yeah, that would be, that would really work. whoa too dark i'm really just trying not to change as many brushes here as what i should be doing and kind of going with that <laughs> this is and now my brushes have totally disappeared my sizing this is just it's like got a mind of its own. I cannot explain this. Trust me, we would have already had this 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 creature done. I don't know what's happening. I am I'm losing things. My my brushes are gone now. <laughs> No, I, I, I can't. It's not like that. Truly. This doesn't happen like this. Anyway. No, it's, it's like gone. Well. Hey, all this stuff happens on live stream before or on it's it's cool <laughs> I have no <laughs> I, I kid you not my little brushy thing is 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 gone away I'm just going through here to to see if I can pull up my history and trying to see well we were close to having this little guy done and and this is not <laughs> This is uh, not going right. Let me see if I can pull up anything here. So how is everybody doing? <laughs> They're just in rapture watching you. What, trying to figure out the key? I, I tell you, this thing has a mind of its own right now. Okay, we're going to, I think we're... The brushes should be over on the left hand side. We're going to go old school here. And I'm back on layer four. I'm going to shrink down the opacity of here. What we've lost is a couple of things. So let's go back up here 
and I'm going to try to get away from here. I'm going to go ahead and shrink or move this, go back into my soft pressure here. Okay, this is going to take a couple more steps until, like I said, it's got to be with the broadcasting. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and grab my darker blue. And I'm going to go with the hard pressure. I'm going to shrink this down. Hey, there's more than one way to do this, so we're going to do a different, a different way. It's just going to take us a little... I'm going to flip layers here. It's going to be a little more challenging. So just bear with me here. Hey, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be normal if something didn't go amok. I'll leave the opacity here. There is a button at the top here. I don't even know if I have so many different things here. It's a little bullseye, and when you you paint, you can control the pressure of. of the brush. So the harder, watch this, the harder I push or the lighter I push. And I really like this feature on the Adobe Photoshop. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get his his eye sketched in. Once again, I really like the brushes over there on that side, but we'll make it work. To me, this is almost like left-handed over here, and this really isn't the way that I, I enjoy doing this or that I've done it this way. But, like I said, we'll make it work. All right. I'm going to change up and go to a different blue here. I'm going to widen the range here of that. said I don't have and and this is kind of new terrain for me here because I always work with the brushes here I don't have the gauge that I like so this is gonna this is gonna slow us down drastically here because I'm doing this step by step by step but we will get it done I don't want to change the opacity either I, I'm really losing control of 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 everything. Hold on a second. Okay, like I said, the computer's got a mind of its own. I am just sitting here struggling. It, it's not doing one or two things. I can either stop the live stream now or um, and come back tomorrow. I really don't want to do that. If you want to bear with me a couple more, a little bit more here until... Seems to be working again. We'll just slow it down. I am really uh, clueless. Hey, but this is what it's all about. And I bet Mary Ann's going, see, I could never do this now. <laughs> uh, I'm to the point right now where I don't know what it's doing. I This has never done this. Like I said, it's got to be probably the live stream. Well, we've, we're crunching so many numbers in the computer that Photoshop really needs to restart. 
Yeah, and we can't do that right this second, so. Marianne says this is one reason why she's a bit scared about the technique, because she's terrible at all kinds of technical issues and how to sort things out. Hey, I'm, I'm right there with you right now because I'm kind of clueless here as to what's going on. But other than to say that it's, it's like I said, it's the crunching of the numbers. So Santa, a new computer would be really good. Another computer, I should say. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to smudge. I really don't like smudging. Uh, I'm going to go back to the brush. Truly, I know what I'm doing. See, it's 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 doing a mind of its own. I am having like no control over what the pen is doing right this second. No matter how much I enlarge in this, and we're just we're just hanging on for a ride here. Even if I was to restart Photoshop right now, the settings are off somehow on this. I don't even think that would would fix it. it uh, unless do a hard reset, then I'd lose all of you guys. So. I'm just going back through my brushes here. I'm going to stay with that. See, it's not, it, it's not doing what the brush is supposed to be doing. I know that sounds really weird. For some reason, I'm on this mixer brush, and I, I don't understand why we're on a mixer. And that just locked that down. Undo. Like I said, something something drastically changed here when it was flipping back and forth. Marianne says, and this little baby Yeti is still absolutely adorable and she's totally in love with him. And Divisa says, yes, he definitely is. Oh, thank you guys. I'm kind of really upset. I... I, I don't know how to fix this. I've never encountered this. And like I said, I, I know what I'm doing and <laughs> I don't. <laughs> That's funny. I know what I'm doing, but I can't fix it. Okay, I, I'm not a computer guru, but something is run amok. And I don't have the computer I, I don't have the... It, it's not, it's not letting me even draw this. So, without further ado, what I think I'm going to do is we're going to have to do a hard reset. And I think what we're going to do is just continue this, I would say, uh, tomorrow. Um, I would say at 3 o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time. And uh, I'll set up a live stream, send you the link. Um, I'll post it on Facebook page and that. And I'm going to have to do a hard reset because I have literally no control over my brushes. I, I know what these brushes should be doing, and they're not. So something has happened in the broadcast uh, with this. Uh, I do want to say once again, this has no bearing on uh, Photoshop or uh, the uh, Wacom tablet whatsoever. Okay, so I believe this all lies in, in my computer. But anyway... A couple things to tell you about. So we will resume tomorrow. Uh, here on, on YouTube, I will post the link, post it in Patreon. 
3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. That's Monday. Um, also, uh, what am I going to say? This week, my Kokishi doll coloring book will be released. Keep an eye out for that. Um, a lot of things. Cyber Monday is coming up. Black Friday is coming up. We have a lot of stuff, new stuff to be released. Um, thank you for joining me. Um, I'm sorry something went haywire. And uh, like I said, we're just going to have to to uh, figure this out. <laughs> like I said, uh, I'm not a computer I, I'm not a computer guru, and there just went my arrow again. <laughs> um, it's got a mind of its own. The baby Yeti has invaded the screen. So, with that being said, we only have probably about 15 minutes left on this thing. That's how close, and I know it looks to you. You're sitting here going, that's an impossibility. Truly, about 15 minutes, if at all that, um, to draw on the hair and get all that done. So... Thank you for joining me. I'm sorry it turned out like this. What can I say? Computer things happen. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you for joining me and have a good day.